the next one I think everyone knows, the Plague Doctor. Yeah. Not sure if we have to really talk about it much. It's, it's we very much know about it. That's that's fair. Yeah, I mean it's one of the most popular ones, and we can double check and go back. Yeah, we both have it open. We can double check it if need be. We can skim through it a bit if people really want you to. Yeah. And they actually have auto logs there too. All right, so here's the thumbnail, Jerry. I'll add it so stream can see it. Is it this one? Yep. How did they somehow add more violence to a character that can murder someone with a touch? I don't know. So is that a clickbait thumbnail, Jerry? Slightly, but also not. Technically, the beast isn't metal. He, his his yeah. mask doesn't look remotely modern. And when he kills people, there's not blood everywhere. The head isn't cut off. He just touches them. Yeah. So, it is and isn't. It's not mm -hmm. fully accurate. Yeah. So, like, maybe a two? Yeah. All right, so you ready for the video? Oh boy. All right, and three, two, one. During the time of the Black Plague, SCP-049 was just a simple, poor man living in a village with his wife and daughter. Suddenly, Pause. he saw an actual. Yeah, this is this is the, in, the story of the interview between God and 049. Yeah, this isn't something that's even part of the article. If it's not something we know is actually factual or not, just because God said it doesn't mean that it is factual. God mm. himself said he doesn't know. Right. They, I also forgot to check. They did include a license. But yeah, the, the God SCP character himself said he doesn't actually know. So, not only is this a different article, but it's not even something that's fully accurate. Also, we don't know what his origins are. Also, that's the origin God guessed. Here's one thing: I am going to add in removal of characters because in I want to play let it play for a bit so we can see every all the things in the family. You see her skin color right here. How she's darker. Then she's not plain white like these two. Yeah. In the article between SP343 and God, the picture of 049 and the family were this skin color. So why are these two white? Oh, they whitewashed the family? Yep. <laughs> oh, yep. No. <laughs> and you know something worse? If they had the darker skin tone and they were poor, they were probably Romani people. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. I just thought oh. to go back and show that. And if they were Romani people, that dress is way too short. <laughs> because fun fact for all people, the Romani people do not let people even see the ankles. That was seen as revealing. Yeah. Which is not surprising. A lot of people were like that. Mm hmm But they would even put weights on the skirts to keep them from going up. Yeah, I just thought to mention X. I remember the art. They were this skinny color, not this one. <laughs> oh boy. But anyways, and living in a village with his wife and daughter. Suddenly, he saw an actual plague doctor. Also, why does he look more like a butler than a plague doctor? <laughs> because this person has no idea what a plague doctor actually looks like. 
Like, let's look at the mask, for instance. That's not what the mask looked like. That's mm -hmm. a horror movie version of what they looked like. Yeah, because they had the things on the side where they put, like, I forgot, was it, like, flowers or, or scent, scented the, stuff? The flowers and potpourri, that would be in the beak. Right. So it wouldn't look like it was stitched together by a child. <laughs> We're only 12 seconds in this time. It's historically inaccurate. <laughs> and also, that is not a butler outfit, technically. That is a noble's riding outfit. Oh. Which is not what plague doctors were. They were not noble. <laughs> also, technically, back then, most of the quote unquote plague doctors were frauds. Why are they trying to say it was a real doctor? <laughs> they were never real fucking doctors. No one knew what the fuck they were doing back then. Yeah, even in the interview. they came to the play. Yeah, even in the interview, when God, uh, when God was talking about it, he was saying wherever 049 went, he, he destroyed it. He got the money, but he just caused destruction and death and disease. Like, they, they, he didn't help at all. Also, I want to comment, God never said in the article itself that yeah. the person he took the outfit from originally was a real doctor. Yeah. They just said it was another plague doctor. So, was a plague doctor. so here's the thing, are they ever actually going to take anything from the article? Let's find out, we're only a few seconds in. Riding a horse near his house before falling in front of him and succumbing to the plague. The man looked at the now dead doctor and had the idea okay. to steal the doctor's garment. This I'm going to go back a few seconds. Oh. Why did he use one day break, son? I think I know why they changed his race. Because they picked a white guy as the plague doctor. Ah, uh, yeah. Also, this that, because if they chose a darker skin tone for someone stealing from stealing clothes from a white guy, yeah. Also, this this is the when day breaks on. By the way, this is when day breaks on. Why is like... that there? That, that's not even the right era. Yeah, <laughs> just all of a sudden, SCP Zero Zero One shows up. <laughs> Anyways. The man looked at the now dead doctor and had the idea to steal the doctor's garments and disguise himself as a doctor to scam people and gain money for his family. <laughs> However, unbeknownst to him, by taking the garments, he made a deal with small death of the brother's death, which caused the man to become That's a curse. That's not in either of the articles. Yeah, that, that was... There's not in an ar either article... There's no article that says that he made a deal with death by stealing clothes. I, I think there's only one SCP that made a deal with death and he regrets it. Because that was, like, he, he beat death in a, in a game of chess or something like that. And once again, yeah. this article is literally God's guess on what happened to him. Right. So they're taking a guess and running with it and then embellishing it. Yeah. All right. Let's get going then. Agents of small death. He visited different regions and spread death, with people believing he was a real doctor. That's also not. Yeah. Can you? Can... Mm. Why? Okay, sorry, I need a breath. <laughs> that yeah. is also that is not a historical outfit. outfit. At all, in any way. The fuck are they doing? Also, uh, here, let me go for a second. You see how it's red and stuff? Yeah. We're at four nine seconds, okay. Um, you, you, you see a bit of a problem? Where did all the red yeah. shit come from? Supposedly, supposedly, he's stuck in the other guy's clothes, but it's not the same clothes. Right. <laughs> but also, neither outfit looks like the outfit... That SCP, that SCP has. 
have we ever seen SCP-049 in either of those outfits ever. I also noticed something else. Look at the horse. See how it looks a normal horse and everything? Yeah. Let me go to uh, 49 second. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me go back a bit. Real doctor, since he was somehow in Look at that horse. I want to comment that the horse is not part of any SCP. <laughs> also, now that I'm done having a freak out of how historically inaccurate this is, <laughs> this is worse than the cell phone popping up in the 1980s. It's like it's the SCP videos are getting worse and worse. <laughs> That masks like that, I do not believe, popped up until the 19th century. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Jerry, I wanted to tell you something about the rubber. The reason I didn't do them first, because their most recent SP videos, talk about them having relations with some of the anomalies. Oh! Yeah, there's literally one where the rubber is trying to bang your eyes. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking up early gas masks. Let me see the first one that looked remotely like anything like that. Yeah, that's copying masks that were from the Second World War <laughs> and adding a bird theme to it. That did not exist during the play. Oh, Senate bubonic plague started during World War II. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. We're barely in the video. It's not even a minute. <laughs> Screaming in historical inaccuracy. I can kind of see why people say this person's worse than the rubber. <laughs> also, may I just comment? Yeah. Red dye would have been more expensive than black because black would have been something you don't need to die. You could get it from black wool. Yeah. So why? Why would they randomly change to more expensive clothing when they're supposedly poor? Also, why the added metal to the clothing? That would have been an extra cost. Or they're literally adding these weird expenses for someone who was supposedly poor. As well as a different horse. <laughs> yeah, so he bought a different horse. <laughs> Instead of helping his family, he went out buying shit for himself. <laughs> like an American it's husband. It's historically inaccurate and it's angry. It's not even act it's not it's historically inaccurate, it's article inaccurate. So far they haven't even spoken about his article. Yeah. Will they eventually get to his article, the doctor he befriends and the doctor he kills after befriending? I don't know. And showing how he's not very honest? Wait, I'm wondering. Because the Vulcan does voice in the article. Are they actually going to use his voice? We'll find out. I don't think they will, but sure, let's find out. Yeah. Plague. After becoming rich, he returned to his home to reunite with his family. But to his horror, he found his wife had succumbed to the plague and was partially eaten, while his daughter was soaked in blood, but was thankfully still alive, thanks to her immunity, which That's she inherited from her father. That's not the state he found his family in! Yeah. What's up with that? How someone looks like when they plague? Okay, breathe, breathe, Gary, breathe. Oh, God. <laughs> We already got a plot deviation for four so far. <laughs> hey, we managed to pass a minute. How did they somehow add violence? <laughs> Wait, there actually is one way to prevent the touch from killing you, and that's the jade ring. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, 
You know, the jade ring that gives you the symptoms of narcolepsy if you wear it. Yeah, but I've also, from what some stories suggest, there might be a chance if he doesn't want to kill you when he touches you, that you won't die. Yeah. I, I still wouldn't fucking trust him, but... <laughs> Sorry for getting angry and slightly, slightly banging wood. I'm sure you've heard that. <laughs> You're fine. I mean, I'm almost in, I, I have to be impressed to their stance <laughs> towards violence, where they can somehow add more violence than there already is in an article with violence already. Yeah, and also how to make, how to make the SP videos worse than the rubber. Why didn't they make it historically accurately? Why? I don't know. World War II has nothing to do with the original bubonic plague. Oh. Jerry, I'm just gonna tell you. Wait till we get to the teenage Gaia. Uh... <laughs> yep. Anyways, let's continue. Unknown what happened after. But it is presumed that the man did surgeries on himself, removing parts of his organs in order to store his tools inside his body, removing his own what? skin and grabbing what? his costume and mask pause, his body. Pause. <laughs> That is not in his actual article, and that's not mentioned in the conversation he has with God. That's, as far as I know, that's not something in any article about him. He uses his fucking bag. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where did his bag go? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> uh, Let's continue. I'm fine. <laughs> removing parts of his brain and even replacing it with another brain altogether. What? That, that's not accurate. Time. Also, that makes no sense. If he replaced his brain with a different brain, he would be a different person. That's not what happened. <laughs> what? That has nothing to do with him. <laughs> I remember you saying, uh, showing a video about the rubber, and you get slightly upset with it. This is getting the most I've seen you upset with an SCP video. <laughs> well, just remember, I'm I I may not be a historian. But my dad was a historian. He taught me a lot about history. I love history. I've learned a lot about it on Yeah. This is peeing on two things I enjoy at once. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with the SCP and has no historical accuracy whatsoever. I want to go. What the fuck is going on after this? Right. I want to go back because what the fuck is happening after <laughs> the brain thing? Here we go. Hold on. After some unknown amount of time, the doctor relocated to the dimensional nexus of the kingdom of Alagana. Alagana? What? Wait, the thing in SCP-012? That... Okay, in the story of SCP-012, that place has not been accessed yet. Because you have to gather all the things from 012. It has not been done. Also... He has no connection with that that realm. Right. What is happening? There are SCPs connected to there, but he is not one of them. He is not slightly one of them. Oh my god. Yeah. Also, we have no idea what Alagata looks like. It's slightly mentioned that the plate wait, hold on. Everything it was slightly mentioned that everything in there is blood red. I remember that in your in the stories. Um. Well, I mean, I see some blood red, but not everywhere. No, that's not blood red. Oh. That's not dark enough. Ah. Uh, then yeah. None of it is dark enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and also there's supposed to be dead bodies everywhere. See, I forgot about that. And oh, I... Yes, I can totally see the dead bodies. I'm sure they're somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. However, the 
doctor was annoyed by the imbecility of the natives and their lack of logic. To make He's things never worse, had the doctor was unable to find his book yeah. and had written his findings, causing immense frustration. Wait, wait, pause, pause, pause. First, they said he stored his tools in his body, which is, was not accurate. Now they're talking about his bag where he still they stores his tools. They can't even keep their own <laughs> video consistent. <laughs> Let's continue. After telling some visitors to leave him alone, the doctor received an invitation from the Black Lord of Alagada. Upon what? arriving to the Lord's palace, the two met and introduced oh, each other. Huh? The Black Lord was curious about the doctor's medicine and asked if he could cure him of any disease he might have. But the doctor was discouraged what? and was afraid he could not. Suddenly, what? a monster appeared from the walls of the palace and heavily injured the Lord, leaving the doctor no, to I'll perform a it. surgery. I'm gonna look up if he, there's been any comment anywhere about SCP. Zero four nine and Alagada. Yeah. There is. Okay. Yeah. Are they just taking information from stories and not the article? I... What? Did you find something? Apparently, SCP-6500 has something that hints he of him being a citizen of Elagata. I will be there very, very quickly. I literally had to find that by an This is so crazy. Bookum, are you entertaining being entertained by by us cringing at this video so far? <laughs> We're sorry for stopping so many times. We already know this is probably going to get like even more worse percentage than the last one. A little bit. <laughs> There's no way it's going to get higher than 25%. <laughs> Cuz so far the only thing it didn't do badly was it was the clickbait <laughs> and the fucking license. Wait, well, they didn't add the license for the story. Which they took from. This is not made by the same author. Okay. I don't see any anything in SCP-6500 that, that he has any connection to it. But you, I'll link it in the, the voice chat. So you can look at it as well. I don't think it has anything that suggests he is connected to it at all, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something I missed. I do know I have dyslexia, and that does cause me to sometimes miss things, even when I read it. All right, I'm double checking to see if there's any 049 or plague factor. Let's see. Well. Sometimes things mention things without mentioning their names. Yeah, but I'm still looking. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not either. Oh my gosh, there's like 
with 6500, you can actually choose different paths. That's kind of neat. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> or am I? So literally, this is something they're pulling up. Fucking ass. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Surgery on him, and during the procedure, the doctor finally remembered his cure. After the Lord was cured, he only gave the doctor his gratitude and ushered him out to leave. After finally remembering his cure, the doctor decided to leave Alagada and return to Earth. In 1665 to 1666, the time of day and night went haywire, with the sun not coming out in London for several days. But when it did come out, it would not set. At this time, the Black Plague seemed to have returned, so the Plague Doctor took the chance to take the bodies of the recently deceased and reanimate them, which caused mass panic throughout London. After the day and night schedule returned to normal, thanks to Lord David Blackwood killing the fairy hybrid who was responsible for the disruption, the Plague Doctor took residence inside a monastery of the Fifth what? Church, where he was revered as a holy figure, although he himself didn't think much of the place. He operated on the members of the church for some time, making their bodies into abominations so they could be more fitting for their religion's ideals. Tonight's case file. SCP-049, The Plague Doctor. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, almost halfway in the video, they get to the actual document. Jerry, <laughs> are you okay? I mean, whoever heard of being historically accurate or accurate to any of them? Ever, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's continue then. SCP-049 was discovered in Montauban. A lot of added woman. When the SCP Foundation were investigating some mysterious disappearances, they found 049 surrounded by the people he had turned into SCP-049-2. While the Foundation exterminated the SCP-049-2 instances, SCP-049 took notes on what was happening and then willingly surrendered to the Foundation. Under their custody, 049 kept doing experiments with various mammalians which were provided to him by the Foundation in order to keep him calm. On April 16th, 2017, when he was being interviewed by Dr. Raymond Ham, a doctor who spent a lot of time with 049 and considered him a friend, 049 became agitated and attacked Ham, killing him and turning him into an 049-2 in three hours, since security wasn't activated. SCP-049 is very well-mannered, respectful, and polite. They didn't even include the interviews. Huh? They didn't talk about the interviews. Like, Not you... yet, but I will say, yeah. they totally changed the doctor's clothes after he was changed. Also, he did not look like that after he was changed into an undead instant. Yeah. Why would his clothes randomly fucking change? Also, <laughs> he wouldn't do a piss poor job of the head. Yeah. Polite, so it makes little attempt at escape. Oh wait, he also doesn't have a staff. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> As far as I'm aware, he doesn't have a staff. Am I wrong? I also do not think he has a staff, but I would not be surprised if he had one fucking bag. Alright, I pick another piece of wearing thick clothes and wearing profession garments instead of seeing some ground. I'm trying to see if there's anything talking about a staff. I haven't seen anything about a staff. Also, I want to comment that how did they add more violence, so much more violence, to an article that already had violence? How oh, do people have staffs? Oh my god. Anyway, so let's keep going. It seems to truly believe what it is doing is for the greater good, stating that its cure is most effective. It is unknown why SCP-049 believes that it must eradicate this pestilence, 
But what the I, I'm gonna say we don't yeah. actually know if he believes in the pestilence or not for real. Yeah. There are lots of suggestions in his articles and in God God's conversation with them that they don't actually know if he does or doesn't believe in it. Yeah, because yeah. I think in the conversation between the two, didn't he say he didn't even know what the pestilence was? <laughs> Just that it was pestilence. <laughs> That with multiple people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. SCP-049 is also. What the? <laughs> <party> <laughs> and... <laughs> Apparently, zero four nine likes Starbucks. <laughs> I'm yeah, well, why not? They've already changed so much about him. Yeah. Affable to both humans and fellow SCPs alike. It states that it does not like to speak because of the melancholy and pensive nature of the victims of the pestilence, and they do not react well to conversation. This shows that it still has its victims' best interests in mind when performing its procedure. Should we use that character the again? Probably. Extremely lethal to humans. Killing those that come into contact with it within minutes. SCP-049 then produces a body of blood. It's instant. Right. Is it? Did it say instant in there? Oh, sorry. Wrong article. Did it say instant or minutes? I believe it's instant, but I can look. Okay. I'm actually looking as well. I don't see anything where it says minutes. It just says, well, tend to kill any such. It's capable of causing all violent organism to cease through direct skin contacts. That, that means the literal second they touch you. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Seconds, yeah. not minutes. Yeah. There's not, not a time added because they don't need. Right. Bag <laughs> filled with medical and surgical tools. Then begin surgery on the victim, inserting several unknown chemicals into the corpse. Are they treating this After... like one of those medical video games? Probably. Also, they what the? They had glue randomly added there. Right. Also, like apparently, zero four nine has a worm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's so inaccurate. So why not? Why not? It's not. It's not. Maybe we can pretend it's historically accurate. Secret <laughs> leech. Yeah. Secret pink leech. Sure. <laughs> I'll continue. For a few minutes, the subject's vital signs were resumed, and the subject, now an instance of SCP-049-2, will begin to function normally. Except lacking any higher brain function. What is with our obsession with clean brains? I don't know. Completely feral, violent, aggressive, and dangerous, and will wander under an unconscious and another human. Okay, here's one thing I'm kind of hoping that they don't say that 049 was creator of SCP 002, the zombie plague. I hope they don't say that. They are not connected, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> they are not connected, but that doesn't mean they won't. Yeah. They've already connected an SCP that has no connection whatsoever to 049. <laughs> Why not another? <laughs> right. It will then attack and kill the human being before returning to its unintelligent and brainless state. SCP-049 was once thought incapable of speech. This was later debunked when it spoke in a male voice, saying that while it, it can never, speak, it's... It was never considered him incapable of speech. He yeah. spoke to them immediately and politely. Yeah. Simply prefers not to. It explained that it seeks to eradicate the great pest.
pestilence on the world, which is assumed to be the bubonic plague. However, How the fuck is he alive? Confirmed, as SCT-049 senses the pestilence, <laughs> and do not possess the disease, and has not seen it in some other human subjects, which do. Is he killing the plague doctor? Nine believes it is doing a great service by doesn't curing even look like the plague doctor anymore. It looks when like some part of the plague. <laughs> okay, eat the syringes. <laughs> Effectiveness of a cure, SCP-09 would not continue. It is possible that the pestilence is life itself which 049 believes that it destroys the souls of people and therefore it should be ridden from their bodies. The Plague Doctor what? is probably one of the what? most well-known SCPs and one of the earliest. I generally don't like to do many very well-known SCPs, but this one, I just couldn't resist. I didn't want to recite the usual stories regarding 049 and instead decided to give you a bit you of a Oh no, let's go back a bit. <laughs> let's rehear what he said. The Plague Doctor is probably one of the most well known SCPs and one of the earliest. I generally don't like to do many very well known SCPs, but this one I just couldn't resist. I didn't want to recite the usual stories regarding 049 and instead decided to give you a bit of background of how he came to be, and how we ended up in Foundation custody. As oh, always, yeah. I hope you enjoyed your time with Professor Lucius. And that's it! <laughs> okay. Removal of characters. Actually, I think... I don't think they actually removed characters, because Dr. Han was, was put in. He was in it, but he was in it so shortly, I consider it... Character. Well, probably not a full four. Oh, wait, Dr. Sherman. Dr. Sherman wasn't in there. Yeah. Or Dr. Itkin. We're going to say that name right. So there's two characters removed. Three. We give it a three. Okay, three? Yeah. So, I mean, oh, yeah, sure, they did put the one, one license. Added gore or violence? Four. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow! <laughs> or somehow! How did they do it? How did they do it? Deviates from the plot of the article. Only men in the video. That, that's fair. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wait, I think this is actually going to get a higher score. see it only has men in the video as in it's it wait did they add women where there oh uh, yeah they did add women when there wasn't supposed to be women I think. but they also modified characters that were female that were supposed to be there i feel like we need to add a number all right what number are we not a full a one Unless you want to go higher, I, I won't argue with you. Okay. Because the the wife, they basically modified. And the daughter, they modified her as well. Oh, uh, yeah. They removed them, but they modified them to the point of being unrecognizable. And they were the actual women in the article in any articles relating to him that were related to his origin all right so and here's even in his article originally they were god's conversation with him yeah so it didn't get a high percentage either 30 percent which is also not good <laughs> that's really I bad say it's the only one that got any points on the last thing so, oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Probably not so good.